Andy Warhol is, in my opinion, the greatest artist of at least the second half of the 20th century. We have a silver car crash, a silver called Silver Disaster, a very famous painting that has only been seen once in the last 20 years. It's one of four paintings that he did of this scale, of this magnitude, of this importance. She's the yellow Liz. She's one of 12 Liz's that Warhol painted in various colors from red to green to blue to yellow. There's only one yellow example that he did. Also a smaller disaster painting called a car crash. Andy Warhol is so important for every generation that followed. There is no Jeff Koons without Warhol. There is no Damien Hirst without Warhol. He was the one that radicalized the thought of popular culture, everyday life, and fine art. There are still people out there who don't understand the importance of Warhol, but the people in the know know. Warhol did about 30,000 uh, Polaroids because he just walked around parties and all he wanted to do was be at a party or host a party. And he would just walk around with his camera and take snapshots. This is a very Warholian thought that you can have a piece of the pie for a hundred bucks or you can have it for a hundred million bucks. All of these artists were radical at one point in their career. They were seen just as much as we see Warhol now, or we see Coons now, as, is this serious? How can you do this? In 1913, they told Bala, like, why would you paint a car, try to paint the speed of a car? That's not what we want to see. We want to see pretty landscapes and, you know, water lilies. And when Monet painted water lilies, it's like, how can you do these water lilies? They look like you, you cleaned your paintbrush into a canvas. So, Art was always radical. Great artists, great art is always ahead of their time. <laughs>